Hey guys, it's Erlen Bryan here. Today we're going to take a look at how to move around pins on the AEM style connector. So this is going to be useful depending on what your tuner likes to set for tables in the ECU. Now what we're going to do is first step, you're going to pry up on this side latch here. My finger's kind of in the way, but you can see it's released. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Then it's kind of going to pull up like that. Now next step, we're going to take a look here at the front of the connector and we're going to release this locking mechanism just like that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get it all the way out. Now if you look, one side is narrow and one side is larger. So you have to pay attention when you're inserting it back into the connector. Now we're going to take a look at the back side. So all the pins are labeled so you can see the number one here up in the upper corner top row is going to be 1 through 20 second row is going to be 21 through 40 and so on ending in 61 through 80 so right now we've got this white wire in position 29 so these marks in the center here are five pins each so that gives you a nice reference point. Now we're going to flip it back over. And we're going to take a look into the connector. Now it's a little hard to see there. But you can see these tabs right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift up on that tab a little bit. So we're going to lift up. Now once we lift up we can go ahead and pull the pin out. Now another important piece in repinning it is see the crimped side of the terminal here. The crimped side has to go to the outside of the connector. So if you're doing it in the top row, it has to face the top of the connector. If you're doing it in the bottom row, it's got to face the bottom of the connector. Now the same thing applies for the next set of pins here. We're going to face it up for the upper row and we're going to face it down for the lower row. So you're not going to be able to insert this if you do not have it twisted the right way. Now end result, put the pin back in. We're going to line up the small side here with the small side on the ECU. Now you shouldn't have to apply much force. We're going to clip it back into place and that's it.